And thus we come to dance. The selector said, through his intelligence and demanding instruction, our honoree, a living treasure of ballet history, former dancer for the Royal Ballet and American Ballet Theater, and longtime teacher at Richmond Ballet and VCU Dance, he has shaped the technique and careers of generations of Richmond dancers. Our Pollock Prize for Excellence honoree this year in dance is Arnott Mader. You dear, dear people of Richmond, Virginia, and environs. Those words were uttered by Carol Channing after a performance of Hello Dolly in 67-68, and that was the last time I was on stage here in Richmond. <laughs> it amazes me that someone found me, nominated me, and y'all voted for me. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough. This is such an honor. This past week on Facebook, one of the boys, a former member of the Richmond Ballet, paid homage to one of his first teachers who had recently passed away, commenting that he would not have done or become what he became without this particular teacher profusely thanking him. It brought home to me what teachers do I could have written the same words and applied them to my teacher and mentor. When I moved to Toronto from the farm at the age of 16, my teacher stepped up to the plate, not only teaching me ballet technique, but making sure that I attended concerts and other artistic events. I heard recitals by the violinists Menowin, Elman, Elman, Joseph Sigetti, piano recitals by Dame Myra Hess, Rubinstein, Michelangelo, and others, and saw small dance concerts, one organized by Markova and Dolan, in which a soloist named Bettina Rose and a teenager named Royas Fernandez danced. Little did I know that ye the year after being in the Royal Ballet School, for which my teacher arranged the audition, seven years in the company, I would return to New York, get a job at Radio City Music Hall, where the ballet mistress was Bettina Rose. Next year I joined Ballet Theater, where Royce Fernandez was now a principal. Miss Byers eventually retired to Victoria, British Columbia, and I visit her almost every August from the early 70s until she passed away in 2003, at the age of 93. When we discussed my career, what I was doing at the time, or my latest vacation as some wonderful, cheap country abroad, she never tired of saying, if only your mother could see you. And I am so happy that I was always able to remind her that what I did and am doing was because of her. Teaching is special. One doesn't know how the students are thinking, if at all. <laughs> Which of our words will they remember? I know there are many dance artists here in Richmond who work six days a week, week after week, who have broadened the arts in the community very successfully who are more worthy of this award than me. But it is very special, and it is not possible for me to thank you enough. Thank you.